What is up, scent heads, smell beast, and frag freaks? It's your boy. My name is Mega Dave, and today I want to talk about something that's been requested quite a bit. People ask me, how do you spray your duos? That's coming up next, and this is Oh So Fresh. Yo, what is good, Fresh Fam? For everybody returning, I want to say thank you so much for being a Freshie. It really means a lot. And if this is your first time here, welcome. As I said before, my name's Mega Dave. This is my channel, Oh So Fresh. I do reviews on fragrances that I absolutely love, and I hope that you love them too. If you do, give me two huge fresh thumbs up. That lets me know that you enjoy the content. Also, think about subscribing. Tickle, tickle, tickle. And give the bell a little tickle too. Tickle, tickle, tickle. There you go. Now you're updated and you know when I'm dropping new flames like this because who knows it could be your favorite fragrance that I review next. Today, as you saw from the intro, I want to go over and discuss how I spray duas. For those that don't know, dua is very, very strong and they are not like your typical designer or even regular niche fragrances where you need a bunch of sprays. And there's also categories for them so you know how to spray. You don't want to overspray these. They kind of can get very, very powerful or maybe sick to you if you put too much because they are very, very strong. I'm going to put them in three categories, which I'm going to call your lighter fragrances, your regular duos, and then of course your beast mode fragrances, your atars, things like that. Those are in the final category. Obviously you guys know strength, least to best. Now, just to preface, there is not a single fragrance from duo on me, at least that lasts less than seven hours. So just take it for what you want. Your skin will vary. People get greater on their skin. Some people get worse. Uh, Chad Six, that's you. <laughs> but for generality, seven to eight is kind of what I get for the majority of the regulars. Some lighter fragrances, I go towards the seven-ish. But for generals, eight-ish. And then you got your beast mode. I consider beast mode 10 hours plus on your skin. Then there's extreme beast modes, which I won't even get into that, but I'm going to do what I think is one of the strongest and then what I think is one of the weakest and then what I think is run of the mill, if you will, average performance for a duo. All right, so the way you do it, and I have a spray pattern that I do for every fragrance is different. So if I was going to do a baseline fragrance, so I'll consider this one the weakest, if you will, out of the three that I have at least, Aqua Del Mundo. So very fresh fragrance, actually wearing it today, still going very strong, um, but it is a lighter fragrance. So for this fragrance, I would do one, two. This is now, this is the way I do it. I tend to think you guys have all seen uh, how to make your fragrances beast mode that I do. Uh, if you haven't, definitely go check it out. Uh, link will be down in the description. How to get better longevity out of your duos, even though we probably don't need them. But pulse points are always a good spot to hit, I think, especially when you tend to think like when people are going to get interactions, you want it around, you know, your sensitive area here. So I hit one two, three, four. Okay. So I make sure I hit some skin, right? I hit back here, which tends to hit some of my skin on my neck. And then of course, some of my, whatever I'm wearing in this case would be a hoodie. So it gets that. And then I would hit here, depending on how strong. So a fragrance from the lower end of do I would think five to six is just fine. One, two, three, four, five, six is how I would do it on a fragrance like this. Now, the challenge would be going up. And of course you need to test this on your skin. Maybe you don't need five or six, you probably don't, but this one being a lighter, it's fresh, it's not gonna choke you out. Uh, five or six isn't going to kill you for sure. But I just like try to get a nice bubble around me, okay? And if you really want to exude uh, even more projection, you could put on your limbs, like I've mentioned before, here, slight dab together, not rubbing or anything, but put real close to the skin, dab, and there you go. Then you're set. And then as you walk, you're putting off even better sillage. But I like it right here in my sensitive area. So if a woman's coming up, you're giving hugs, you're snuggling, you're laying down, whatever it may be, you're giving off some. And as you sit and you catch some wind, you know, you're going to get some great sillage as well. Now going up to the next category. So that one was a lighter one. So I got about, I usually get about seven ish hours out of Aqua Del Mundo on me going up to what I consider a typical fragrance. So Everybody knows this baby here, 2.0. <laughs> it's awesome. Obviously I have a review of it. So this one I get very good performance. So this one is an eight hour plus on me. Mm, I haven't smelled this in a while. Summer's coming, baby, summer's coming. 
So on a fragrance like this, now I do know some people that do five or six on this one. You're, you're just trying to kill someone. This one, I definitely don't need uh, five. On this one, I do a typical three. So I do a one, two, three. If I'm feeling a little greedy, I'll hit the back two. But I generally try to stay two on the pulse points right behind the ear. And then I'll do one front chest on my shirt, jacket, whatever I'm wearing. So one, two, three. And again, if you want to just push it just a little bit, you can want it on your wrists, dab it, and then you can push out. But really, this thing lasts a very long time. You get almost three hours push on this baby. Uh, it lasts, like I said, eight plus hours easily. Handles sun just fine. It actually gets better with sun and heat. So that's how I would do most duas. I would say probably like 80% of duas you could handle like this. You probably only need three, maybe four. It depends on how bold you are. If you want to be a savage and go five, six, eight, ten. I know some people put 15. I'm looking at you, Sam, from Dua. Sam has the crazy spray routine. We don't even want to see him. He has the guts to put on the beastiest of fragrances and go completely saturate himself. But generally, for the majority of society that aren't nuts, we only need probably three to four on this one, okay? So... That'll sum most of this up for you. Now we're getting into what I consider beast mode fragrances. There are quite a few out there. A uh, bunch of them go well beyond 10 hours, 12 hours, 24 hours even. Harmony, Heritage is one, Do A Man is one, but one that lasts the most on me or very, there's a bunch that lasts forever, but Royal Cherry to Tar, just, uh, it's nuclear. Heritage lasts forever. Do a man, as I said, but this one just, it's like a, another world, the way it pushes and pushes and pushes. So this is one where it's an extreme situation where you don't want to overspray this. If you go too heavy on this, you're going to make yourself sick. It's going to be there forever, and you're just going to choke out everybody depending where you go. Now, if you are in wide open, feel free to adjust these a little bit, but these things still push. This one pushes, pushes, pushes. So for this one, I would probably just do a one, two, okay? Maybe three if I'm feeling generous. You don't need it on your extremities. This thing is going to push enough, okay? Now again, wear it as you like. This is just my recommendation. So for beast mode fragrances, one to three. Now, if you're trying to dare wear this inside, just one it. That's it. You only need one, okay? So if you're gonna be in an office like these areas and you're gonna have people around, not that we can do it with the quarantine, one it. That's it. One. Okay. One is going to last you the entire day. So when I get people that say they wish that the duas were bigger or hundred ML, why? Look at this. You don't need nothing with this, like one or two sprays and you're like solid. I know people that do three on this and that's kind of freaking crazy. You don't need it. So that's kind of the argument. And that's why dua does 30 mLs. You don't need a giant bottle just to sit there because these are x straight. And actually this one is an Atar. I've already talked a little bit about Atar, so this is even stronger, but that's kind of why I chose this because not just the longevity with this, but the projection and the sillage on this is like four or five hours. So it is a hard, hard, hard pusher. And if you love the fragrance, that's great. Maybe someone doesn't, which they're crazy, shoot them in the head because they don't belong on this earth. No, don't kill anybody, or at least I didn't tell you to do it. But that's kind of my routines that I go through. So to sum it up, the fresher, very light fragrances on this, five to six, okay, which there are very few that have this. You know, if you've tested and it doesn't last long, you could do five to six on this. Do your full encompass here. And of course, you can always add to the routine with one extra spray for the arms if you really want to get noticed. But you could probably do five to six on these lighters. For the majority, 80% of the fragrances from Dua, uh, say like this 2.0, any of the Mod 3s, any of the PCCs, any of those, three, three, four. I usually stick with three, like I said. Choose it, play with it how you like. On your skin, you may need less. I doubt you're gonna need much more, but feel free. So that's kind of the normal, if you will. And then for the Beast Mode fragrances, Royal Cherry Atars, any of the Atars actually, uh, Do A Man, Heritage, any of these nuclear batches, one to two, that's it. You don't need a ton of this stuff. Why put it on like you're still gonna smell this 12 hours later. You're gonna smell this on your clothes until you wash it and get it out of the dryer and probably still smell this. They're strong, you don't need it. So this one, one to two, maybe three if you wanna be really bad, but 
that's all you really need. So that's the way that I spray duas. I know everybody is a little bit different. Some people like to go full hog and give it everything they got and really blast the radius of this thing. But hopefully this helps clear up a little bit for you guys. Um, I know a lot of people ask me, so that's how Mega Dave does it at least. So I got three categories that I do. They're on my shelves. I kind of know what they are. I've wore every single fragrance and I know what all of them, how they perform. That's another great thing. Just like get your fragrances, let them macerate. Don't just sell them away and then see how they perform. And you can have your seasons and then you can have your strengths, however you want to organize them. But some are going to last way better and some are going to last a little bit less. So particularize it. This gives you a good guideline where you can go. So for the majority, three, four sprays is going to be plenty. So that could be a good guideline. Three to four sprays, you're probably set.